Hello, and welcome to another episode of On Purpose, where I interview intriguing leaders about their purpose. Today, I am excited to welcome uh, my friend, Hubert Jolie, uh, who is the author of The Heart of Business, which you see right behind him. He is a senior lecturer at Harvard Business School, and he was the president, CEO, chairman, and executive chairman at Best Buy. Hubert, welcome. Grace, it's so good to see you. What prompted you to write the book? I felt personally, so much of what I've learned at business school, at McKinsey in the early years of my career was either wrong, dated, or incomplete. And so what I wanted to do is share a different vision of business and leadership, a vision of business that's about pursuing a noble purpose, putting people at the center, embracing all stakeholders in a declaration of interdependence, and trading profit as an outcome. And of course, now most people believe that uh, this is the right direction, right? People talk about purpose, you do. We also, both of us know how hard it is for leaders who are keen to move in that direction. A set of ideas, tools, practical advice. There's reflection questions at the end of each chapter. So, so as to help as many people as possible who are keen to move in that direction. So that was the mission. And what was the moment that shifted you? Because I think you started your career as just a by the numbers kind of guy. So what, what happened? How did you come to that realization? It was several milestones. One of them was actually learning from one of my clients in the early 90s told me uber the purpose of a company the purpose of a corporation is not to make money it's an imperative and it's an outcome but it's not the ultimate purpose and of course when you think about it metaphysically and philosophically you understand it but then he drew practical implications like when you do a monthly performance review of a business start with people then business then finish with financial performance Another of my stones was uh, about 20 years ago. I had been at the top of my first mountain, right? I'd been a partner at McKinsey and Company. I was on the executive team at Vivendi Universal. So quite successful, but yet I found emptiness. There was no joy, there was no meaning. So call this my midlife crisis. And that led me to want to uh, step back and spend some time trying to discern my calling in life, my purpose in life. So I ended up doing the spiritual exercises of Ignatius of Loya, the founder of the Jesuits, to define my personal purpose and then bring the two together. I think magic happens in the business world where we can connect what drives us as individuals with the work and with the purpose of the of the company. In the book, you talk a lot about human magic. And you know, that may sound like a pretty foreign concept to a lot of people, but bring it to life. You know, explain what that really means. I started to hear stories, and I'm sure at your company you do that as well, of um, stories of frontliners doing amazing things for customers. And where there was no memo from me telling them what to do, right? It was uh, self-driven, extraordinary acts of, uh, you know, kindness and, and kindness to, between employees or with uh, or to, to customers. And I think magic is about this, you know, as human beings, we have this ingenuity, this this heart, where we're gonna do amazing things, not because we're told, but becomes because it comes from within. So that's what I call human magic. One of the other things that evolved throughout the pandemic was the importance of leaders being more uh, vulnerable, empathy, et cetera. So I, I mean, can you talk a little bit about where you see the world of work moving and you know, there's probably tons of business leaders here, you know, talking about, is this trend here to stay? Where is this going? You talk about key words, right? Empathy, vulnerability, humility. These were not the key words to describe leadership a few years ago. The model was the leader as the superhero who knows everything, who tells other people what to do. And that simply doesn't work anymore. So I think leadership today, and that's how you unleash human magic, is about being clear about your own purpose. Be curious about the purpose of people around you and see how it all connects. And then really creating an environment where people can be and want to be, you know, the best, biggest, most beautiful version of themselves. There's a lot of people who aren't buying into this multi-stakeholder capitalism um, world. Would love to hear, you know, if you were having a conversation with someone who is one of those skeptics, what would be your argument for why it is here to stay? I mean, share with me why you believe that there really is no other choice. You have to say it out loud, the world we live in um, is not working, right? There's so many issues out there in the world. Th these issues are not going away. And so the choice is, is therefore, 
do I fight this or do I lean in? And my choice is very clear. You have as a leader, you know, you need to make a declaration of interdependence. If the city is on fire, right, you cannot open the stores, you cannot run a business. If the, if the planet is on fire, that's the biggest business risk there is. I do believe, and I, I know you do as well, that business can be a force for good. You can do well by doing good. Awesome. Well, look, as always, I find every encounter I have with you incredibly inspiring. So thank you so much for joining me, Hubert. And thank you for joining us today for this episode of On Purpose. I look forward to seeing you next month.